What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm so excited. I'm finally going back to the fab shop. I have not been back since my last video. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. Today the roll cage is somewhat complete, so I've heard I have not seen it, so I'm extremely excited to check it out. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. I want to talk about my next upcoming events. I have so many events that are coming up in February. I'm going to leave the link below to my website that shows my event schedule for 2020. You can see if I'm going to be in your state. I'll be doing a lot of traveling this year. I believe I'm going to California twice within the next two months. So if you're from Cali, be sure to check it out. I'm really excited for 2020. I can't wait to begin traveling and hopefully I get to meet some of you guys. My next event coming up is February 9th in Gainesville, Florida. This is Import Face Off. I went there last year. I had such a great time. I actually got to race a BMW. If you're from the surrounding Gainesville area, be sure to check out the flyer. I'm gonna have it right here. I hope to meet some of you guys there. Following that event, February 15th, That Racing Channel. Many of you guys may have heard of them. They are a huge YouTube channel that does nothing but racing. Really awesome event that they're gonna be having here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Again, that's February 15th. I'm gonna leave the flyer here as well, so be sure to check that out as well. I may even race the Evo at their event. I'm doing all that I need to do to prepare this car to take it down the drag strip. This event is gonna be filled with drag racing, roll racing. There's so many different classes. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be putting the Evo in, but we will see. I have tons of new mods that are coming. I've ordered so many stuff. You guys have seen that I ordered the axles. No, I have not installed those yet. That's why you haven't seen the video on them. But I got my carbon lip coming. I got the carbon air ducts. I have so many more things. So stay tuned because I'm going to be posting so many videos this month. Every little thing that I do to this car, I'm going to be recording it and try to do somewhat of an install video. So that way, those of you who are Evo owners on here, you kind of have an idea on how certain things will look on the car and also give it a genuine product review and show you all where I purchased some of the things that are going to be coming in. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to warm up the Evo. It's been a while since I've driven it. I'm going to take it to the fab shop. Let's go check out the Civic. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to see it. Most of all, I can't wait to show you guys, record all of this. And I, I'm just so excited. In a few months, I'll be down the track again. And all of these videos that I'm doing is going to be worth it. And I can go back and see all of the hard work, all the time and dedication I put into this car. And I'm just, I'm just really, really excited. Let's go ahead and warm the Evo up. Sure, I got everything I need in the trunk. A few things actually came in the mail last week. I haven't had a chance to take it to the fabricator, but here I have the release cord for the parachute. That's right, Civic's gonna have a parachute because eventually I'm gonna need it. So I wanna go ahead and have the car ready so that way when I run the time that's gonna require me to have this, it's already on there. Also, I have the window net. This is also needed. Then here we have my new manifold. I told you guys I was going with a center feed, so here's the center feed set up. When I get there, I'm gonna actually install this on the car, and then we can go ahead and begin with the piping stuff underneath the hood. All right guys, so we just got to the shop right now. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to see the car. The roll cage is supposedly already in, so. Let's go take a look. looks so good <laughs> oh 
I'm so excited. God, imagine if we like do that wrap, carbon. What do we have left in here? Obviously, you're waiting on the window net to come in. Waiting on the window net, and we just have to do the uh, eight pillar bars, do the dash, the windshield bar, and the door bars. The whole back is pretty much done. Just about, it's almost done. We're gonna bring a bar off of here and come this way with you know, two more bars. And then to keep it strong from folding this way, there's gonna be one bar that ties to the floor here. So I'm gonna shear up a plate that gets welded to the floor, just like those guys. So that's why it's already cleaned up and ready to go there. This is where it's gonna go in the back where you were just showing us, right? This is gonna be one of the plates. Now it's gonna go in your trunk because I'm gonna add a brace to the chute mount. So if your chute tugs up or down on the car, it won't bend those yeah. bars. So it's gonna to go here. The There's gonna be a long bar that goes from there all the way here. You yep. need to make some type of support yep. to hold it up. Nice. And then we got the parachute as well. You want the air to slip right on the top of it. So when this thing punches out, you know, air's gonna grab it real quick. So it'll sit about here. We're gonna, what are we gonna do right now? Check out, uh, What's comfortable where you're going to put your hand for the uh, shoot release. Cool. This car is going to look so crazy when this is on here. <laughs> so crazy. So it's nice. Let's see. So, whatever is comfortable. Broke the roll cage. That was <laughs> You want it, uh, so, I mean, left, right, forward, back. You're gonna be hitting it in this area. Probably over here. Yep. Probably yeah, this should be good. So you got to think like, you know, we can get this down to about here when it's when it's pushed, and you, you'll actually hit the bar with your hand at that point. Like your hand will end up hitting the bar. So yeah, he's gonna cut that cable to be perfect. So you don't even have to yeah, push so it all the way. Right. Over here would be fine because if not, I am I'm, gonna be hitting the bar. I'm thinking back a little. So so yeah, right there. Back towards like the trunk area. No, I'm thinking move the handle back some more, yeah. Yeah, I, no, I, 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 I should go with what you're saying. That's yeah. perfect. Okay, right there. That's it. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Here we have the Skunk 2 Ultra center feed manifold that I'm going to be putting on the car. You know, I mentioned to you guys several times that I'm switching. No longer going to do the side feed. I'm going to do the center. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the car and get it ready so we can go ahead and start with the fab work under the hood. Also here I have the three inch Vangin. This is for the Ross machine throttle body that I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna be doing three inch piping around the whole entire car. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this center feed manifold. I love having the TSM titanium studs because they make everything so easy. We're gonna see how it looks. We're gonna take some measurements and get the car ready to order all the piping that I'm gonna need for the intercooler and everything underneath it. The car body's flat here. The car is so, so excited and happy to see the car come together. It's crazy. I, I can't wait to see the complete look once the parachute and everything is on. It's gonna be insane. It looks so good. All right, so pretty much all we have left is to do the parachute and the window net. After that is complete, the roll cage will pretty much be done and then we'll move to under the hood where we'll be doing the fab work. We talked about all of the piping and all of that today so i'm gonna go ahead and order that and then once all of that is complete we have everything done in the hood we'll have the roll cage we'll be all safe and then next will be just be on my part to begin building the motor and transmission here we have the cage it looks so nice i i'm just like blown away on how it looks can't wait to have it completed and see how it turns out this is pretty much my first car that i've had a real cage on also order the sunroof plug that's coming in the mail. I got a carbon fiber plug, so I'll be doing like an install video on that. It seems like it's pretty simple. So right now, currently everything is just tack welded in. It's not like the final setup. He has to complete that, which we'll hopefully we'll come back and get some footage of him welding. We have the bars that are gonna go here, obviously, and then obviously the one at the top as well. Um, earlier we were measuring where I'm gonna put the lever at so I can release the parachute when needed. It's pretty awesome to see everything come together and show how he's pretty much really making everything custom to me, not just a copy and paste kind of thing, which is really what I like most. That's a wrap. I think that's it for today. We're gonna come back in a few days. So be on the lookout for that next video. I'll have the parachute on the car already, so I cannot wait to see that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout because I have many more to come. 
probably about two more coming for the roll cage and then we'll begin doing the piping and all of that under the hood. So yep. I'll catch you guys in the next video.